Well, hello everybody. Here we go. Here we, we got we got some good stuff going on today. We got a pen and some new ink and some old ink that we're just gonna be jetting out to the to the water to, to get rid of it and then get some fresh water and just clean out that entire pen. It's gonna be fresh. It's gonna be ready to receive the new fuel to harness and release my power as an artistic and creative individual but yeah it's it's gonna be good you know we can we can see this nice pin and see all the action going on here we got got a nib being taken out we'll be scrubbing it down getting it all squeaky clean and ready because we don't want any of those imperfections or any smudges of the old ink in there you don't want any of that residue it's all good. The Twisby is one of my favorite fountain pens. It's one of my go-tos. And I'll actually have to showcase a new pen that I got over the holiday season. Very kind person got me a brand new fountain pen to mess around with and I gotta say it's a it's a fine instrument. Figured I could show you this video, show you the process of properly, or at least properly for me, it's it's my usual, but proper way to clean a fountain pen. There might be a more proper way, but this is my way, and it seems to do extraordinary for me. So, I'm going to stick to it. It's it's really simple. And it gets it nice nice and brilliant. It gets it nice and clean. I really like fountain pens. It's probably not going to stop. That is me buying more fountain pens and obtaining new fountain pens through gifts and just messing with them and seeing what happens. I like I like them a lot. Even dip pens. It doesn't have to be a fountain pen. Sometimes a good dip pen can really get the job done. And then it's just it's just nice. It's classic. But this is the ink I got. It's golden writ. It's a very nice crimson color. Deep dark like garnet or like a deep ruby or something makes my pen look like a giant enormous mosquito or something just drawing up some good plasma strange but I do like this ink it's very it's a very royal red got some coffee the other day. My girlfriend bought it. It is really good. I'm finishing my second cup. It's, it's cold now, but it's, a, it's still delicious. It's very robust. It's like about as dark as they get for coffee. A good dark roast is always, it's always amazing. At least for my palate. My taste buds enjoy it. What is everybody's favorite ink? I also got some walnut ink the other day too, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dabbling in that too. Right here has an old doodle in one of my little mini sketchbooks and I'm practicing with this delicious red ink and it's alright. 
I see some of my sloppy cursive as I'm just going out. It's, it's real smooth. I always like smooth when it comes to pens. I really do enjoy using this ink. I do prefer waterproof inks, and this ink is not because if you spill tea or anything on it, it's going to smear and turn into like a watercolor. But I really do like the pigment. Burnt Carmine's really nice, and I shall show all of you lovely people more down the road. I do appreciate you coming and watching this video. I hope you learned something or just enjoyed the ride. Just come back anytime. Thank you. Y'all be safe and have a good day.